Hey up everybody, Magpie9901 here, and in this video I'm just bringing you some news for, about Battlefield. And that is mainly that there won't be a new Battlefield for at least two years. Now EA have come out this week and said that is the case, as they are concentrating on Battlefront for a late release next year, which is no surprise to anybody, we all knew a second one was coming. And the fact that they're going to make us wait at least could be longer, but they're just saying at least two years for the next Battlefield. Um, it's not really a surprise. I mean, when you look at the gaps between Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 and Battlefield 1, there's been a two-year gap between those three titles. Obviously, they've filled those two years in with DLC at regular intervals, which this time is going to be no different. They've already got a roadmap for DLC for Battlefield 1 mapped out. So doesn't come as really any surprise and I think it is a good way to do things. I think it's the best model for releasing games. If you want to do a cycle of games or a series, when you look at things like Assassin's Creed for instance or Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed held its hands up and you know they said yeah we messed up. Releasing it every year isn't working. We balls this release up, so we're going to go away, we're going to have a holiday, we're going to have a break, and we're going to come back nice and fresh. In my Call of Duty review, I said that Call of Duty needs to do the same thing. It needs to go away, it needs to come back. Come back with some new ideas, maybe reinvent itself a little bit, and then it might be more widely accepted by its fans, because Infinite Warfare hasn't been, let's be honest. But yeah, not another Battlefield for at least two years, I'm fine with that. You know, even if you don't purchase the content packs or you haven't con uh, purchased the premium of Battlefield 1, there's still plenty of content to keep you coming back for quite a while. Me, personally, I always invest in the premium because I know that I'll keep coming back and back and back because I love the games. So I always go for the premium. Keeps it running, keeps it nice and fresh. You know you're going to get some nice new content every three to four months. So, so yeah, that's where they're going with things with that. Another rumour that I've heard, watching Jack Sprague's video about this, he thinks that they might be working on a competitive version of Battlefield, which I tend to agree with, because Battlefield for me now is one of the big front runners in the FPS industry, and esports is now becoming a big thing. I mean, it has been a big thing for quite a while, but it's now getting out into the public domain. You know, you've got dedicated channels for it in some countries. Sky TV here in the UK have started to show some shows. Not a lot, but they're putting a show on every now and again. There is rumours that they might do a dedicated channel. You know, gaming is a massive industry now. It's one of the biggest, so for it to have its own competitive sports arena, it makes sense. And for Battlefield to be in there, that makes sense as well. So, what guys a competitive one would take, I don't know. The current game isn't really set up to be a competitive player. You would have to have new game modes, possibly new maps, etc, etc. So that'll be interesting to see what happens with that over the coming months. There's been no official um, acknowledgement of that, I don't think, but DICE do have a couple of teams and I don't think all of those teams are working on Battlefront. Obviously some will still be working on the DLC for Battlefield 1. So yeah, we'll see where it goes with that. And that is all the news I've got for you today on Battlefield. Oh, one more little bit was that they have pulled in really big figures for October, or well, since the release. They've done really well with um, the revenue for Battlefield. I think it jumped into the top 10 in PC downloads for this year. And I think it's ranking roughly the same on the consoles, which is good. I think it's been a brilliant launch for Battlefield 1, definitely. I'm enjoying the game immensely, and I'm enjoying it too much. I'm not recording enough. I'm playing the game and not recording enough, so I need to remedy that. But yeah, that's all the news I've got for you today, folks. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. That is fine. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I shall catch you in the next video. Take care.